What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. The video is of course about that 1993 Dodge sitting right there, which by the way, you can enter to win that truck along with the Ford that is up for grabs right now. You'll see the Ford in just a minute, but let me explain dual entry again. We've done this for about two years now where a lot of our giveaways at the last week of a giveaway and the first week of a giveaway, we start the dates and end the dates to where they overlap. It's an overlapping period, dual entry period. What is dual entry? It's very simple, but it's essentially when you know, for example, that giveaway started on April 16th and the Ford giveaway ends on April 21st, which means those six days between the 16th to the 21st, every order is essentially a BOGO. It's buy one, get one. In other words, you're entering for one giveaway and you're also getting entered for another at no additional cost to you. No additional cost. Where normally to enter that next giveaway, you have to wait until it's over and then you have to spend more money to get in on that other truck. This is the only chance where you can enter for two with every order you spend. So it also is a better incentive to spend more money during that period because your dollars are getting doubled in terms of the entries you're getting. So it's an awesome opportunity for the people that, you know, they want to enter multiple giveaways, but they don't necessarily want to blow money multiple times on multiple giveaways. They can do it one time and get entered for both. Best of both worlds. Check it out, link in the description below. So here it is. It is a 1993 Dodge W350. It is a one ton. It is beautiful. And I'm gonna start it up and pull it out so you guys can get a great look at this thing sitting out in the daylight. Hopefully my phone can balance there for just a couple minutes. And yes, it puffs a little smoke when you first start it. It's only been running for about 45 seconds. It's a 12 out, bro. For everybody that complains about that, man, just never owned one of these old dinosaurs. Give it a couple minutes, it clears up pretty quick. But anyways, guys, 1993 W350. It's a one ton. It's a regular cap. Just imagine it behind that, in front of that trailer, my goodness. And I love the color scheme of this thing. It's like that Colorado red and like a silverish, champagne-ish colored, like two-tone. It is freaking sick. We've got the Alcoas on it, 35 by 1250s. Just, just the meanest, cleanest looking regular cab first gen configuration. Like this is just the way I like to see these trucks. Kind of like the last one we did. Very clean, very nice truck. And I love the look of this. Like just like the one that we did last July, that ended well last July through August. It was that gray gunmetal gray metallic one that we redid ourselves top to bottom. It had all the paint, new tires, and all this stuff on it. And it looks sick. Well, it was the same configuration. It was a four wheel drive, five speed manual. It had Alcoas on it. It had 35s on it. I mean, it was a mean, sick looking first gen. And it was a one ton dually four wheel drive truck, just like this. And I was like, man, if I ever find another one, I gotta get it. I gotta do it again. You guys loved it. It was your favorite truck of all time. So why not? So here we are. And like I said, you can enter to win this thing right now. If you wanna get in dual entry, it's the best time to do it. But if you can't, no big deal. The giveaway will still run until May 26th for those of you that don't want to get in during the dual entry. Now, as much as I love listening to this thing, I'm gonna turn it off so we can talk about it. Let's give you guys a little overview of this thing. It's got the Dodge tailgate that's stamped. It's not the stick on badge like the LEs have which is interesting because this truck is technically optioned like an LE, like it's got the power windows and power locks and all that, um, but it doesn't have that trim. I mean, you know, it's old, but it's a Missouri truck and he lived on mostly gravel roads. So I don't know about you, but that looks pretty darn good to me um, compared to like most first gens that I ever see or second gens or anything up north um this is considered to be like very clean like it's it's dusty like i'm not gonna say it's not dusty it's dusty but you know you can only be so picky you know when you're looking at 30 year old trucks you know you can see all the rock dust you can see that cab out there but you know it's starting to oxidize but there's no rot anywhere there's no floor pan rot nothing just a bunch of dirt and dust on it. You can see the other cabin out there. Rockers are super clean. There's no, there's no rust or rot anywhere on any of those. It's got a redhead steering box. I'm gonna pop the hood actually. Four wheel drive. They put new carpet in it. It's got 
a new black seat in it. You know, like I said, it's got like the LE wood trim in there. It's got the power windows and stuff, but it also has a, it's got a redhead steering box on it. You can see into the front end there. And then he said that they did install, he said that they installed a four inch lift on the front. And then under the hood, they did do a few upgrades as well. It's got a brand new fuel pump. The VE pump's been gone through. It's got a new pusher intake kit on it. New paint matched valve covers to the pusher kit. Borg Warner turbo upgrade. And um, it's all been gone through, stuff like that. New injectors, bunch of new seals and stuff. Uh, like I said, <laughs> gravel road dust. So, you know, it's, it's dusty. It needs a deep clean. We're going to get to that. But, um, but the important stuff is it runs good. It drives good. You know, all the important things like the VE pump and the turbo and the injectors, like, and all the seals and stuff, like all the important stuff's been very well maintained and replaced on this thing. And guys, for this engine bay looking like this, and this is a 30 year old truck, I'd say it's doing pretty good. This is the original grill that came on this truck. And it's got like a couple little chips, like in the chrome finish right there. But there's no cracks in it. There's no splits in it. You can see there's no, like I said, it's the original one, but no cracks or splits. I'm sure the bumper's probably aftermarket. Um, I don't know that for a fact, but I feel like most of them came with the big ugly plastic pads on them and this one doesn't have it same with the rear bumper i don't know for a fact but it looks extra shiny and extra new so i'm i have this feeling it's aftermarket but then again this portion of it looks older and original so who knows and then you got the bed the spray and bed liner which is actually a nice touch he said that they did this themselves um not too terribly long ago a couple of years and the bed never really got worked that much so you know it still looks pretty brand new Get a nice look at the rear end there. I don't know how long ago he redid the paint. All he said was he redid the paint at some point, um, but he didn't give me a date. So I can't say, oh, it's only a year old or two. It could be five years old for all I know, 10 years old, I don't know. He did say that they redid the paint scheme on the truck. So the mods that he said were just recently done on this thing, new 75 horsepower injectors, new fuel pin and governor spring kit, new Borg Warner K27 60 millimeter turbo, new VE injection pump that's been completely rebuilt, new redhead steering box up under the driver's side there, and the whole front end has been rebuilt on the truck as well. Brand new lift kit on the front half of the truck. He said that the front end was much lower than the rear. So he did a four inch lift on the front and he's like, I was gonna do the four inch in the rear as well. And then I realized that it totally leveled the truck out perfect. And he said he even took a tape to it. And he's like, it sits perfectly level with a four inch lift in the front and no lift in the back. So he didn't mess with the rear lift at all. And of course the new Alcoas he got off of a fourth gen, he put new 35s on it. And then I, and then I think he said that he also had the tint done was not too long ago, which it looks pretty fresh, so it's probably accurate. And then it says that the newer spray and bed liner along with new brakes front and rear on the truck. So if you guys were wanting a little bit of history on it, a little bit of background on it in terms of what's done to it, stuff like that, there's a good list, which honestly, that's the kind of list I like to read because nothing really got like crazy hot rotted out on this truck. It runs really strong and healthy, but it doesn't like blow crazy amounts of smoke and stain the whole back of the truck it doesn't like have so many different crazy mods that it's going to blow the thing up and nothing ridiculous it just makes it run healthy and strong but doesn't cause a bunch of problems that's the kind of modifications and reliability that i look for in a truck like this because when somebody says they got all kinds of crazy stuff done to it the first thing i think is oh man how long is that even gonna last but anyways guys that is the overview on this truck so if you guys were looking forward to that let me know in the comments below give me a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy getting a good peek at this truck and don't forget you can enter to win this thing right now but don't forget you can also get entered to win this huge monster four dually back here that also is up for grabs with five thousand dollars in cash and for the guys that are complaining oh i don't like the wheels i don't like the tires i don't like the black paint match mirrors I don't, guys come on i mean come on it's a crew cab long bit 73 with no rust on it it runs amazing it's got some mods it's got some upgrades it's a great run and great sounding truck if you don't like the wheels and tires i if you don't know how to use a lug wrench or if you don't know how to use an impact gun to take them off and sell them for four or five grand and get yourself a more basic set that you like there's nothing wrong with that i like simple setups like that truck i like i love that style but if you don't like these it's not that hard to swap out a set of wheels and tires okay and these are probably worth more than what you're wanting to put on the truck anyway so who cares? It's a win-win. You can sell them and spend half as much and get a different set. That's way smaller rim, more tire, 
and everything's good. You get a little more, you get a little more money in your pocket, and you get to keep the wheels and tires that you actually want and sell these if you want. It's not that hard to swap out a grill. It's not that hard to swap out headlights. It's not that hard to put a new bumper on. This is a perfect condition off-road style bumper. No scratches, no rust, no nothing. Okay, my bad, my bad. It's got a, one little chip right there. But other than that, the thing is dang near perfect. So if, if those are the things holding you back, which is probably not, you're probably just complaining because you like to complain. But if those are the real reasons, you probably shouldn't have a truck anyway if you can't figure out how to swap the stuff out, okay? Because most of the upgrades, like this bumper and those wheels and tires, if you want a stock bumper, trust me, this will sell for three or four times what a stock bumper will. And then again, more money in your pocket. Same with the wheels and tires. If you don't like this, because like, oh, I'd rather have 16s than 35s, then do that, okay? You can, do, it's so much easier to do. And also the truck comes with five grand. So if you're like, well, how am I supposed to sell these? Just drive a truck with no wheels and tires on it. Use some of that five grand, buy the wheels and tires you want, and then swap them out and sell these the next day. It's not that hard to figure out, people. If you really like the truck and those are the only things in the way, come on. Really? Anyways, all that being said, hopefully I helped open your eyes a little bit about the Ford for the people that are, I don't know, I guess don't know how to swap wheels and tires and grills and headlights and stuff. Um, they're pretty simple things to swap out. And if you really like the truck, I really don't think those things should be letting you get in the way of, you know, taking a shot at winning it. Unless you just really don't care about it, then that's totally fine too. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching the overview on this truck, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. But keep in mind, the dual entry period to get entered for both these trucks at the exact same time ends this Sunday, April 21st. So when you see this video, that might be today, that might be tomorrow, that might have been yesterday, I don't know. But it's probably going to be a day or two from the time you're seeing this will be the last day to get entered for dual entry. So act now.